So this test is, I haven't added anything special to this test yet. Uh, I just wanted to set it up to show you that um, what we're going to do here is that we're going to use the country service, but we're going to hit uh, an external endpoint that will be controlled by us uh, once I set this, once I get this going. Okay, so sorry, this is test. Uh, I'll run it again. Now we're going to introduce one more concept that um, is specific to, to Quarkus, and we're going to use Wiremock in order to demonstrate it. So like Emmanuel said earlier, uh, we, run, we, we boot Quarkus once, and then we run all the tests against it. Um, and what that means is that when, when you want to like do something before you boot Quarkus, uh, you need, as a developer, you need an integration point. Well, uh, the Quarkus... Um, Quarkus test resource is that integration point that you're looking for. Uh, so I'm going to say Wiremark uh, countries. So I'm going to create uh, such an integration point where what I'm planning to do is that I'm planning to create a Wiremark server where I mock, uh, where I uh, set up basically the endpoints that I care about, and uh, where and our test is actually going to hit that uh, that server. How do we do that? So we, we add this Quarkus test annotation, test resource annotation, and we create a class that implements this uh, Quarkus test resource lifecycle manager. Uh, the, the stuff we care about here, the methods we care to implement here are start, which basically is uh, the method that uh, Quarkus calls back into, the Quarkus test calls back into before it launches the Quarkus application. And what it returns is a set of um, properties that's runtime properties that Quarkus, uh, that will affect how Quarkus uh, runs. And stop is just called like when the Quarkus finishes, when the, all the tests finish. So what I'm gonna do here is a wiremock server. Wiremock server. I'm gonna go wiremock server is new, wiremock server, wiremock server start. And now since we're actually kind of running out of time, I'm just gonna copy paste the, the actual mocking part. And yes. Okay, I copied it from the stuff that I've already have ready and will share with you uh, at the end of the presentation to so you can follow along. I'm gonna make this a Java 14 uh, because I want to uh, now 14, I also have to... Ah, uh, you want to use the multi, the text yes, box, which is... Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly what I want to use uh, because I hate writing JSON inside um, inside the little... It, with the regular Java stuff, it's just terrible. Uh, so, test compile. And so, in order to do that, though, I need to enable uh, some preview stuff. So, maybe a compiler plugin. This, this stuff isn't actually important for, for the actual test. But it's cool to see, um, to show like that you know that with Quarkus we have like all the uh, all the flexibility to do anything you need, like anything you're used to with um, Maven or whatever. Uh, so I'll say so it works with uh, Java 14. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it doesn't work with records just yet, but we we have a PR ready for that, so it should be working very soon. Uh, so, but so you're, you're basically showing them people can use in like four or five years in the production system. No, no, <laughs> well, they can use it right now. They can use it right now. I know, I know. Like, uh, like Quarkus yeah, work with it. Enable their company goes standard very thing. well with the production guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, love it. Why not? Uh, so I have to enable preview both for compile and for Surefire when running. Um, otherwise, like it will work. Uh, and I have to tell IntelliJ to use it because it's not smart enough to figure out uh, how I configured it. So basically, what I'm doing here is that I'm stubbing out the RV2, I'm stubbing out the, the endpoint that this uh, method is looking for. And I'm saying, like, when, you're, when you see GR, don't return the regular Greek stuff, but return, like, the, the same name in Greek. So I'm actually, I just actually wrote Greek. And the other thing I did is that here I told it to forward all the stuff that didn't match here. Uh, I told it to forward it to the actual um, actual service. And uh, I need to do one more thing to get this working. I need to tell Quarkus to use 
this actual this uh, server. So this server, once it's started, it'll start at some uh, URL, some port. I don't know which, but I don't really care uh, because um, all I have to do in order to make the country service work, I need to tell it where the URL is. But Wiremock base URL gives me that information. So what this does is that uh, it overrides the property that I have here, which is the default, let's say. This gets overridden by uh, what I start here, because like I said, these properties that are returned by start are runtime properties that override uh, what's in application properties. One, one yeah. quick question, is there, a yeah. test, uh, is there a doc somewhere that goes into details at everybody's own pace? Because that, that's a lot of information on, on that. Yes, I know. Uh, no, because I was, uh, I just came up with this when I was um, preparing for this. Um, yeah. There you go. Uh, session so yeah driven, uh, no how you got that Co uh, <laughs> youtube live driven feature <laughs> exactly yeah well, well you're saying the, the, fe the feature well, is there it's just the example is new yeah i need yes. to I need, I need to write down the example yeah because this is a lot of information and it's not well, like, well, what did you do uh, once you've done here like take this code and commit into a repo and push it then we can i've already done that i've already done that i'll share uh, once this is done i'll show you the url and you just, can find just remind me, what, what's the thing that, like this start, what was the thing that made it, what was the thing that made that being picked up? Yes. Is that the lifecycle manager? Oh, yes, Corcus test resource. Okay. test resource, and uh, it, picks up, it picks up these lifecycle managers, and like I could have multiple lifecycle managers, uh, like I could have one for database or whatever, and they'll all run. They'll all run before Corcus starts, that's the important part. They run before Corcus starts, and they can override runtime properties. Very cool. I was wondering about that. We, I don't know. 